Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Aisha Yasmin and in today's video I am trying out so many new products. Well when I say so many I mean like four or five but they're big products to try out. So I am trying out the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation. I'm also trying the YSL All Hours Primer and also I'm trying out the Urban Decay Beach Palette which is what I've got in my eyes so if you would like to see how I created a look with it, the foundation and a wear test on it then make sure to keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and of course subscribe to my channel and yep let's go on with the video. Okay so I've done my skincare off camera and I'm just going to be popping on this YSL All Hours Primer and I'm not going to lie, when I first got this I was shocked at how small it was, like I thought it was tiny. So you do get 40 milliliters in this, Benefit Professional does have less than that so I suppose it's okay. I don't really know how to use this. Okay so I poured some on my hand and I'm just rubbing it on my face. I like these kind of primers, like more moisturising liquidy primers. So I would say it does look pretty good, it makes my skin look really smooth actually. Okay so I can't actually give my thoughts on the primer just now obviously because I have put it on and you're meant to see how long it lasts etc so I will obviously take the foundation and the primer into consideration when I do the wear test but I'll just go in with the Maybelline Super Stay foundation and the colour I'm using in this is 130 buff beige I really hope this is my colour because I'm so pale right now okay so pumped it in the back of my hand I'm just going to see if it is my colour I would say it is a bit Darker. So I'm just going to blend this bit out with the sponge and this is the Morphe sponge. I oh know that colour is actually fine for me. Put some on my... so it is quite thick. There's no smell to it or anything so it doesn't smell like strange. So I'm just going to blend this in with my Morphe sponge and I did do one full pump on the blender. Okay, so I actually really like this foundation. It's gone on really easy, it's not patchy or anything. This sponge is really good as well, it's huge, it's like a bit bigger than the Real Techniques one. Okay, so I'm going to try and make this one pump last. Okay, so I'm just going to do a close up and see what I think. Wow, that is so beautiful. I absolutely love this. I wouldn't really say it's full, full coverage. I would say, does it say it's meant to be full coverage? So it does claim to be a full coverage foundation and apparently it has a matte finish as well. And you know what, I actually am going to have a tiny bit more here. I would say it's kind of medium coverage. It's covering my freckles pretty well. To be honest, it is quite hard to find a foundation that does cover my freckles. Okay, so I've taken just a tiny pump on the blender and I'm just going to start taking this down my neck as well. I don't have my normal mirror in front of me so that's why I'm holding this one here because my other mirror is far too heavy to even attempt to bring downstairs so I'm just dealing with my trusty Primark cotton. I really, really, really like this. Okay so I've got the foundation on and I will give you my first initial thoughts. Blended out like a dream. It was so nice to blend out. And obviously I did use the Morphe sponge to blend that out and it did work really well. That could also be the sponge and the foundation together so that was fine. It's not patchy at all. I feel like it's all tying in nice together. I don't really notice anything bad about it to be honest. One thing I would say is again it doesn't cover my freckles but I'm used to that to be honest. It's not really a big deal because... Even my YSL one, which is like £35, doesn't even cover it, so... Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Eye Eraser. And this is in the shade Light. And I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes. And I'm going to mix this in with some of the Tarte Shape Tape as well. I'm just popping the light shade underneath my eyes. And I'm just going to go along the bridge of my nose. I'm going to keep it so... On my chin. And then I'm going to go on my forehead as well. And now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I'm just going to go under here. This shade will kind of help conceal my freckles just a bit more. I'm just picking up that Morphe sponge just to blend this in. Okay, so the Maybelline and the Tarte concealers are working really well together on top of this foundation. I don't see any patchiness. It's all just kind of blending in really nicely. I really, really like this foundation. I think this foundation might be my new favourite. 
So now that I've tried the concealer on top of the foundation, I would say everything is looking amazing so far. I'm going to just go ahead and jump off camera because you've seen my face routine about 50 times. So I'm going to go and jump off camera quickly and finish off my face. And then we'll come back and dive into the beach palette. I have finished my face. I just need to do highlighter but I'll do that towards the end. Now we're going to start eyes. So I have already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this is the Eden one. And now it's time. I'm so, oh, I'm so excited for this. This is like an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette that I've been excited for the most. Like definitely, probably one of the most exciting ones. I've not opened this yet so I'm going to open it just now. <gasps> Okay, so this is the palette here. It does have a nice big mirror and you can fold it at the back as well, which is really nice. I'm going to quickly swatch all the shades on my forearm and I will be right back. Okay, so in the picture I have swatched all the shades. Um, I do just want to say that I did notice that the shade 16 Street, it did actually have a different texture to the rest of the shimmers. It was a bit more chunky. Um, so for anyone who isn't into chunky glitters then that is a bit more chunky and a bit more messy in comparison to the blue shades etc so that is one difference I did notice. One thing that you should be aware of is that there is only one matte shade in the palette and that is Daybreak. The rest of them are all shimmers so if you're not a big shimmer fan then maybe this palette might not be for you but Obviously because this is a summer palette then it's expected to have more shimmers than mattes. So I would obviously just take that into consideration if you're looking to buy the palette. Okay so I'm going to start off with the only matte shade in the palette. The shade Daybreak and I'm using the Zoeva 228 brush. And I'm going to start building this up in the crease. Okay so I'm just kind of brushing this out. Okay, so I'm feeling a brown smoky eye on top and a pop of colour of the blue on the bottom. I think that'll be nice. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the colour 16 straight and I'm taking this on the Nanshi blending brush. I really hope that's how you say that. And I'm just picking it up and I'm going to start... Oh no, fall out, fall out, fall out. Okay, I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm going to place this all over the lid. Oh that is so pretty, how nice is that? That is really nice, I like that. So I'm going to go back in with the blending brush we used. Okay so I've put the colour 16 Street all over the lid. That is really pretty so I'm just going to do this on the other eye and I'm patting it rather than going back and forth because then we're just going to get more fallout. I'm just kind of building this up until I feel Happy. And I'm just going to muff that to weave my brush again just to clean it up. Then again, back in with 16 straight, and I'm just going to touch it up this side a bit more. I feel like this is the perfect like summer makeup. I absolutely love this. I'm going to pick up the colour wedge, and this is this darker brown here at the bottom. And I'm just going to use that same Nanshi brush. I'm going to pat this specifically on the outer corner. So like the outer V. Now I'll just deepen that up just a bit more. Okay, so I'm just blending this out here just so it doesn't look too harsh. And back in again with wedge on the outer V. I'm just going to start blending that out. In case you're wondering where I am, I'm actually in my dining room. It's a room we literally never use in our house because we've got a table in our kitchen. So I just thought it'd be a good idea just to film in here to change. Okay, and I'm just building that wedge colour up until I feel it's dark enough. And then again, just going back and forth with the Zoeva brush. Okay, so one thing I would say is there is a lot of fallout with the shimmer shades, but I suppose that is expected because they are shimmery and glittery, so I can't really complain about that, but I suppose I should have known not to do my foundation first so I didn't have to keep dusting it off, but it's not like excessively, I can easily dust it off, which is fine. Um, but I just thought I would let you know in case that's an issue for anyone. don't really think it's an issue for me, to be honest. Yeah. 
I absolutely love it. Now for the world lash line, I'm going to be dipping into the colour Double Dip and this is the blue shade. And I'm picking up the Blank Canvas E42 brush and just dipping into that just now. I'm just going to brush this underneath. And I'm going in with a really light hand because obviously I don't want this to fall down my face. So I'm just kind of picking up tiny bits at a time, going back and forth. Okay, and at the side of where the blue will meet the brown shadow, I'm kind of cleaning off my brush and then just kind of dragging it up just so it's got that gradient effect, just so it doesn't look like a blue block. <laughs> so I have done that now on that eye. I think it looks so pretty, so I'm just going to keep building it up. And I'm just going to do the same on the other eye as well. And once you've got your mascara and stuff on there, it will look a lot better. Um, it just looks a bit crazy now because I'm not getting anything like that on. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the shade Blaze and popping this in my inner corner and my brow bone. So I'll just pop this in just now. I'm going to actually add a bit of salt into that as well. That's the top shade. Into the middle just so it brightens the eyes just a bit more. And then I'm going to pick up Blaze for my brow bone. So I did actually do my brows off camera, but if you do want to see how I do my brows, then there is a video on that. I think I've done it about two or three videos ago. Okay, so I would definitely say it's all tying together now. It's really giving me summer vibes. I'm loving it. This is one of the palettes that I'm definitely going to be taking on holiday with me. I would actually say that colour blaze, that does have some pink reflex on it. Okay, so I've picked up just a tiny bit of my concealer and I'm going to be using this just to go at the sides of my eye, just to kind of sharpen everything up a bit. That is looking beautiful. I feel like because I've sharpened it, it does give you a kind of blue liner effect on one side. Okay, so now that we've finished eyes, I'm just going to start prepping for mascara. So I'm going to be taking my eyelash curlers and just curling my eyelashes. The mascara I'm going to be using is my Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm just going to be popping that on. I was wondering if I could just skip lashes because it's like a summer look, but I think it will just look so much prettier with lashes. So I'll start prepping for lashes once this is drying and I'll do some highlighter and then we'll put the lashes on. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Morphe and Bretman Rock Highlighter Palette. And I think I'm going to go in with the shade Get Laid. I think I'm going to go in with this one. I'm just going to start highlighting with my nose first of all. I'm just highlighting my cubist bow at the moment, making sure that it's super shiny. I went and bought one of the like open razors for your eyebrows the other day because I think I'm just going to start doing my own eyebrows again. But I'd like done my forehead, it's literally like dermaplaning your full face yourself. That is literally what it's like. Um, and I've done my forehead and I swear it feels amazing and I've done like my upper lip as well and everything is going on so smooth like on my forehead area. I think I'm actually just going to shave my full face to be honest because, well not shave, dare my plane my full face myself because it's like £40, £35 anywhere else and I can literally do it at home with a pack of razors of six that I got for 3 99 I think I might just start doing it myself. If you want a video on how I started shaving like my forehead etc and um, my upper lip and obviously I'll do my full face as well then let me know and I will do a video for that and I'm picking up the Morphe Y14 brush dipping into Get Laid and then just going to start highlighting my cheekbones I love this highlighter so much and I'm just going on my cheekbones above my eyebrow also you need to let me know if you prefer me filming in my dining room I feel like I can talk to you more like I feel like it's more like tutorial semen than just a wee girl doing her makeup in a bedroom. <laughs> okay, so that's me done my highlighter. I just realised I've done all of that and I've not even put glue on my lashes. <laughs> yeah, and the lashes I'm going to be using are these ones here and they are in the style Opulence. I have worn them once before, so I'm just going to rewear them. Okay, so I've just popped glue on my lashes and I'm just giving them a quick wiggle. And the lash glue that I had used is the Unicorn Lashes glue. While I'm waiting on the lashes drying, I'm just going to start doing my lips just really quickly. And I'm going to be using the Rimmel 100 Kisses liner in the shade Risk. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using MAC Yash. 
I'm going to be using the Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Undressed. I've never used this before, so I'm really excited. I do have one of the liquid lipsticks, and it is my favourite liquid lipstick of all time, so I'm excited to use this. And I'm just going to pop this on. This lip gloss is stunning. It's such a nice nude shade as well, like it's absolutely beautiful. Love, love. And for lashes, I'm going to be popping them on with the Tartius Lash Applicator. So with my lashes, I'm just going to apply them straight on top of my natural lashes. Okay, and that is the second lash on. Okay, so that is me finished for today's tutorial. So once I'd finished my eyelashes, I did actually quickly go and do some eyeliner in my waterline. And I did use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Radium. And this is like a kind of blue colour, which really goes well with the blue shadow that we had used in the lower lash line as well. But also, I did do some bottom mascara as well and set it with Morphe setting spray. So that is literally me done just now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pop off to work and then I will be back, do a wear test and I'll just check in every hour or so after so i'm working for three hours tonight so i'll be back in three hours so i will see you soon. hi okay so i'm just really quickly checking in on my foundation i've actually not looked at it let me see looks still amazing it's literally been on for exactly three hours i still look really good one thing i would say is there's a bit of cracking going on here at my smile lines if you can see like around about here mm -hmm. when i smile there's a bit of cracking I think I could easily be fixed. I'll go over with a powder brush and see if it changes anything. Yep, so I would say a quick powder has helped it. Literally took two seconds just to fix that. So the line is away, which is fine. Yeah, lips are still looking good. So yep, I will check in in a few hours and let you know my thoughts. And then I'll give you my final thoughts after that. Season. Hi, okay, so I'm trying to be quiet because it's 25 to 1 in the morning. But... I have just come in, I've had my dinner, so my lipstick is completely off, but I am so shocked with how amazing this is for, like genuinely, it's been nearly 7-8 hours, and it looks amazing, like it looks so good, like my forehead doesn't even feel shiny, and that's what I would usually get shiny, around about here, I'd be cracking so much more, but I'm not, I would want to say, these wee ones, I genuinely think this might be better than the YSL one, like genuinely half the price and it's performing better, eyeshadow looks amazing, eyeliners kept on pretty well, okay so overall I absolutely love the foundation, love the eyeshadow palette, the primer is definitely doing its job, it's keeping absolutely everything matte, this, go and buy it because it's amazing, go and buy it, it's so good, I love everything, there's nothing that's disappointed me, foundation has honestly exceeded my expectations absolutely love it so happy with the foundation okay guys so that concludes today's video i hope you had enjoyed watching me try out some new products and obviously let me know your thoughts on them as well i will link all the items that i use down below and obviously let me know if you like me filming in my dining room because it feels really different being here but i quite like it but you need to let me know as well because you are my audience and also let me know if you do like these kind of videos and i'll definitely do more for you and of course give this video a thumbs up if you did like it subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you bye